<coughs> choking on my own saliva because I'm drooling. That's nice. Is that weird? No, that's how much I like wasabi. Good morning, everybody. It is not, I don't know if you guys can see that, 9.35 in the morning. Now, I normally don't wake up this early, so you might be asking, Nikki, why are you up so early? The fact is, I haven't fallen asleep. <laughs> I can't sleep, and I've had the most intense cravings for sashimi. So, I went and ordered some. The place where I ordered my sashimi is called Jam Seafoods Trading. It's all the way in Quezon City um, at the farmer's market, and I've known about the stall for a while like probably nine months i've known this all for a while because i love sashimi however i've just never really gotten around to ordering from them but i've heard so many good reviews i know a lot of celebrities actually order from here so i'm guessing it's good quality today i am only ordering uh one salmon sashimi and one Uni, which is sea urchin. I sent in my order at like 8.15 a.m. And um, you know normally when you message uh, on Facebook, they have these automated responses. And it gave me a response that wasn't even my order and it was already telling me to deposit money. And I was like, wait. So I quickly followed up asking them if I'm going to make a deposit already or if I'm going to wait for a confirmation message because I'm not just going to randomly send money without knowing if I'm going to actually get my order or not. 25 minutes later, they responded, please settle your payment so that we can prepare your food. Okay, so in less than five minutes, uh, actually, yeah, I did it in three minutes. I sent my deposit slip um, online and it took them 40 minutes to respond telling me that it's confirmed. And the thing is, they're only taking orders until 10 a.m. today, and I got my response at 9.30. So imagine how I felt feeling that I might have paid for something and I'm not even going to get it. But um, I do understand they are very busy, and given the circumstances, it's not easy to have a lot of people working. So I'm just thankful that they actually responded. However, it is just kind of anxiety-inducing not knowing if I'm gonna get my food. <laughs> so yeah, they responded in 40 minutes and they told me to book a delivery driver in an hour. So I'm gonna wait an hour. Hopefully I get a delivery driver quick. <laughs> but yeah, see you guys then. It has been an hour since they told me to book and I have booked an angkas padala. I don't know if you guys can see that, but so they said, okay, <laughs> uh, I got an angkas padala. I was trying to book on Grab and Lala Move, but surprisingly, there's angkas, which is amazing. It's a little pricier than Grab and Lala Move, but it's fine. I'm, I'm fine with this if this means that someone actually accepts my order. So I just got my package and you know, they give it in like this massive plastic bag. So a lot of the ice is melted. So I need to open this carefully and put it in the fridge. I'm not gonna eat it yet. I'm gonna work out first and I'm gonna cook some rice and I have to eat something before I actually eat sashimi. So I'll figure that out. But right now, just put this away and work out and then we'll get to eating. <laughs> There's two plastic bags. The first one, the biggest one, is just filled with ice. And the smaller package inside is obviously what I ordered. But here is my salmon. It's, oh, okay, this comes up. Y'all, that is clean. I honestly thought packaging would be better considering this is fresh produce, but I mean, it works. Oh, oh, it comes in a Tupperware. Very cute. So, my uni. Oh wait, I need chopsticks. Ah. Okay, so we've changed cameras. We are on the floor. We have a table. We have a bowl of rice, a glass of water, my sushi, my sashimi in particular. And I'm so excited to try this. I'm actually kind of nervous because I'm scared of being disappointed, but let's do it. I'll do the uni. Oh, this is so scary. Why did they use a rubber band? Okay. 
Thank goodness that did snap. I guess one good thing about ordering uni is you get a free Tupperware. So. <laughs> Should probably open it this way, should I? Ooh, that is filled to the brim. Oh, wow. Y'all, that is full. Now it's time to open the salmon. There's a lot of liquid in it, so I do want to open this as carefully as possible. I want to open it the way they wrapped it, so there we go. There we have it. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. I cannot believe this is on my table right now. So they provide soy sauce, and I think this is Kikumen soy sauce. I have some Kikumen in my cupboard if I don't like it. They also don't provide wasabi. I think you can order some, but I love wasabi. I already have some here at home. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go for the salmon first because that's something I eat a lot when I'm in Hong Kong, so I kind of have a general idea of what salmon should taste like, I think. Okay, should I dip it in soy sauce immediately or try it on its own? Try it on its own. Yo, I don't know how to explain how that tastes. Interesting. Let me try it with wasabi. Maybe that's what I'm looking for because I always eat my salmon with wasabi. Mm, yeah, there it is. <laughs> this time with soy sauce. My first comment is that it's very firm. A lot of salmon sashimi can be very slimy. This is not slimy at all. I kind of like that. That's, oh, you know what? I'm gonna, not gonna eat it all in one sitting. <laughs> I don't really know how to judge uni because I haven't had that many in my lifetime. I've had a few, a handful actually. But I don't feel like I've had it as much as salmon to be able to say a lot. Where do I even grab? Oh, there it is. Yo, this is filled to the brim. And it goes. I know what I'm missing. I'm just, go get it. <laughs> Got myself some seaweed. <laughs> Rice, dip this in soy sauce. So much fun. I'm sitting in silence in my flat on the floor, but I'm just I'm having the time of my life right now. <laughs> I'm gonna stop eating for now and I know my close friends aren't gonna believe this but I'm already full but this is mainly because I had to eat something before I ate this because they say that eating sashimi on an empty stomach is a bad idea so I made sure to have a can of tuna 
before I ate, so I am kind of full. But we are going to wrap up this video with my thoughts. The salmon, as I've said, is very firm. Um, there's no strong scent, and when you put it in your mouth, it feels clean. I don't quite know how to put it into a better word, but there is some salmon sashimi that's slimy, and it smells really fishy, and it just doesn't really feel good in the mouth. This, I don't really have a complaint. It feels so fresh, and for its price, it's not bad. Um, when I consider the price of salmon sashimi in Hong Kong, this is decent. For 320 pesos, this is decent. I will probably order the bigger ones next time. But actually, you know what, this is fine since I live alone. <laughs> but I would like to have a bigger one maybe to keep in the fridge for longer. I don't know how long salmon is supposed to be in the fridge, probably just 24 hours. But I like this. This is 8 out of 10 because there's always room for improvement. Maybe if they, you know, took out the soy sauce and filled this up with a few more pieces of salmon, that would make more sense. But, oh well. The uni is the star of the show here. I know that uni is a little more pricey. If you like sushi, you would know that sea urchin is definitely up there. It's not exactly affordable, but this is. I would say that this is worth every peso. This is worth 550 pesos. And when you notice how filled it is, how jam-packed it is, this is worth 550, hands down. It's clean, it's fresh, it feels like the ocean is in your mouth. I don't know how to tell you guys how good it is. If I could let you guys taste this through the camera, I would, but I can't. I'm actually gonna have one last piece. Now, when we think about the ordering process, I feel like that's where things go a little... Eh. Um, but I think it's mainly because we are in enhanced community quarantine. Um, I understand that it is really difficult to have a large amount of people clustered in one area. So I do understand that they probably don't have enough manpower. And it's probably not like that when there's no quarantine. I bet they are so much faster and so much more responsive. But I will have to admit that waiting such a long time for a response was really frustrating. I can't deny that because you get an automated response that tells you to make a deposit but you're not sure if they have your order right because it's an automated response. Um, so that was really tough because I was like, okay, should I deposit or should I wait? I, it was very unclear to me. So if that could be cleared out, that would be much better. But besides that, um, they get straight to work. You tell them what you want, you deposit, and they're just like, okay, book an angas or a grab or a lala move in an hour and that's it so yeah i guess it's just the situation right now it's not exactly easy to order but i'd say it's kind of worth it if you're patient another thing is like i said given the circumstances it will be hard to find a delivery driver um I couldn't get one for Grab, I couldn't get one for Lala Move, and those two are well known for their delivery drivers, but I got one for Uncut. Besides that, I think, yeah, it really is just the circumstance that made the process kind of difficult, but honestly, kind of worth it. I'm pleasantly surprised with what I have on my table right now, and cravings satisfied, really. It, it really is. I'm genuinely happy. <laughs> and that concludes my first impression slash review of Jam Seafood Trading. I highly recommend you guys try this if you're patient enough. So that being said, I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for choosing to watch my video. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. It really, really would mean the world to me. And I hope to see you back here next week. Bye!